Used to keep them close, now they dead to me Used to have friends, now I got enemies Enemies, yeah, so sad She said I would never get this far Think that we don't see who you are Laughing to the bank like ha, ha, ha You said I'm just talking too much blah, blah, blah So, where did y'all go? When I was shit broke, couldn't even buy smokes Now your mama needs tickets to my steady Good morning, you guys. So I just got COVID tested for the film industry because I'm gonna be on set tomorrow. But today, I am just gonna make this video about kind of like how I stay motivated, how I work towards my goals and what I do to like achieve them and how I stay on track. And I know I was just like <laughs> off track and that's okay, obviously, to get like off track and stuff. It's totally normal. And I was just off track and I wasn't um, motivated. So now I'm gonna show you guys how, like what kind of habits I do to stay motivated. Um, you guys saw me doing like my yoga, my meditation in the morning and doing that just like grounds me and makes me feel so good to start the day off and it kind of gives me like a routine and a schedule since I do work from home basically it helps me like get into that routine because when you work for yourself it's like you have nobody telling you what to do you don't have a specific start time you're kind of just doing what you want to do so it's nice to like get yourself into a routine so that it's like you know what you're doing when you wake up and it makes you know it's going to make you feel good and be productive throughout the day so yeah that's what i love to do in the morning yeah, i'm just going to take you guys like chill along my day and we're just gonna kind of go through the day together because i have some stuff to get done today i brought my ipad with me because I wanted to make my to-do list in the car here before going home. So after I go home, I'm gonna go on a walk with Brittany probably and just do our lake walk that we've been doing every morning because I wanna like do outdoor workouts as much as I can before the summer ends because once the summer ends, it's like really cold and rainy so it's harder to do like workouts outside. I haven't been to the gym in a while if I'm completely honest, but that's fine. Like I kind of go through phases of the gym where I go a lot and then I, don't really go that often and that's like me right now because I'm trying to out enjoy the outdoors more and I'll get back into the gym um, maybe at, even at the end of this week we'll see how I feel but yeah it's just fine and nice to kind of have a break and it's okay like I'm not really being hard on myself about it and not really being hard on my body at all because at the end of the day it's like as long as you're healthy and happy that's really all that matters so first thing i want i need to do today is obviously film this video second thing i need to do is edit because the video that's going up tomorrow i haven't even started editing it i only sent off like a sponsored portion and i edited that but i haven't edited the rest of the video so edit gotta make that thumbnail as well like oh i gotta like clear my email because Google keeps telling me I'm all out of storage. Um, what else do I need to do today? I think that's like my priorities today. I'm kind of behind in filming, which is fine. I'm not, not stressing about it, that's for sure. But yeah, and then my and then I just had to get tested. So those are like my top priorities today. And then I also kind of want to go grocery shopping actually. That's not really like a priority, but I definitely want to get that done today. So I'm just gonna head home right now and we're going to then go out and go for a nice lake walk. I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day, so. Okay, so we just finished up our walk. It was so nice. Um, Brittany's with me and we are just about to go into um, like this little farmer's market to get some fresh fruit. Produce. Produce because it's the healthiest way to shop and I just don't really have any fruit. I mean, I just got blueberries actually, but like I just want more because summer's ending. And I feel like I haven't taken I ate full advantage. all of my blueberries that I bought. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had that big thing. I know. I ate all of them and then I still have just like that thing left, but I want to get more produ produce, especially because it's summer. So like this is the time to get it. Yeah.
Okay, so I got back from the grocery store a while ago, but there are some guys in our house because we have to get like a glass panel changed so they just changed that and i was just waiting around for them to leave so that i could give you guys a haul <laughs> it's already 2 30 so it's whatever but anyways we're gonna continue on with our day now um i just had lunch it was so freaking good but anyways so picked up some produce and i'm gonna show you guys i'm thinking of making a juice and a fruit salad be just because i'm like been craving some fruit and i've never made like my own fruit salad my mom used to make it a lot and then when madison was over my younger sister she made me one and it was so good and i forgot how much like how good fruit salads are so i think i'm gonna make one tonight for dessert because i love having it for dessert like if you put chocolate chips in it it's so good and it's healthy so i think i'm gonna make that later today after i'm like done mostly everything that i need to get done but anyways okay i'm gonna pack this and then give you guys a little haul okay so here is my haul i just got bok choy haven't had this in a while i used to have it all the time and it's so easy to cook and i love it so much just like a perfect vegetable side for dinner got some bananas got some watermelon and i got some strawberries because the season's ending soon and i want to take advantage and i got some apples and lemons i literally just got one avocado because i know that i won't eat more than that and then i got two peaches to add to the fruit salad and yeah that's all that i got also this is really random but do you know how there's some stores that sell like glass versions of these kind of containers like they're really cute and aesthetic and they're like glass versions of these like they're not disposable they're actual like containers um if you guys know what they're called or where to get them online please let me know because i've been trying to look for some for so long now and i don't know the name of them so i can't just search them up online so if you guys know websites where to get these from or what they're called please let me know if you know what i'm talking about Okay, so I just finished just clearing, cleaning up the kitchen. It feels so good. And I'm gonna go outside on the deck and do something. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, this is one of the ways that it helps me keep working towards my goals. This book right here. So I'm gonna talk about this more when I'm outside. But first, I want to make a strawberry tea with my Bideem mini kettle cooker. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and everything. And I would love to thank them for sponsoring this video because I genuinely love this thing so much. Like, just look at how small and cute it is. It's like the perfect size. It's portable. You can bring it anywhere. You can bring it camping. You can bring it to your dorm. You can bring it to your office. Like, you can use this anywhere, anytime, any place. It's so cute. Like, look at even the color. It's just so aesthetic and cute. But anyways, I'm going to use it right now to make my strawberry tea and show you guys how it works. Okay, so I just cut up the strawberries. These are mint leaves from my dad's garden that I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna make a little bit of like a strawberry mint tea. Okay, so I'm just gonna add everything into here. You guys can like just see how I do it here. I'm just gonna put like all the strawberries in. And then I'm just gonna break off um, some mint leaves and then add them in. Okay, so now that I got all this added in, as you can see, I'm just gonna fill up the water um, up until the max line here, and then we're going to put it on for 10 minutes. I find this just so much easier to use than my bigger kettle. It's just like so big and such a hassle. This is so perfect and convenient. Now I'm just gonna put her on for 10 minutes because that's the amount of time that you do fruit tea at. So it gonna turn out perfect what i love about this is you can do so much with it you can cook tea you can even make food in it like noodles you can boil eggs you can do so much with it so it's not just for making like teas and stuff but they actually have let me get it one sec whole like literal recipe book of things that you can make um with the kettle cooker and there's just so many recipes in here it has a feature where it can keep your drink or food warm for eight hours and it's also quiet like 
you can't even hear it right now and it's made from fda certified food grade material so it's obviously super safe and on it there's three i think i showed you guys this before but there's three temperature modes and there's three cooking time modes so it'll depend what you make but the manual shows you like all the times um in specific to what you're cooking in here so you'll know exactly like what how many minutes or like what the temperature needs to be but yeah and i just love how it's see-through because it's just so like how aesthetic and cute is this it's just so cute like i just i can't with it it's just adorable So I'm just gonna be sitting on the book, um, not the book, I'm not sitting on the book. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting on the balcony now and doing some reading while drinking my tea. So if you guys wanna shop the ID mini kettle cooker, you can use the code miniK20 for 20% off. If you click the link in my description, it'll take you right there. So yeah, this thing is so awesome and I love it so much. It's just so cute. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I added some honey to the tea after I poured it. And this is actually like so freaking good. And what I've done before is I've let it kind of cool down because it's summer now. And I've added ice into it. And it's so freaking good and it's so refreshing. It tastes like a refresher from Starbucks or something. It's so good. You can do so many things with this um, kettle cooker. And I love it so much. So yeah, go click my link in the description if you guys want to shop it. But anyways, so, so one of the things that I have been doing just recently, I started this again, that really is helping keep me on track and keeping me working towards my goals is reading this book. So this is Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's a very informative book and every single time I read it, I feel so much more in tune with myself and it helps me just remember that manifesting is real. Um, my thoughts or my vibrations, what I put out there is gonna, I'm, that's what I'm gonna receive. And sometimes if you don't really um, read things, watch things that help you remember that, you're gonna get out of that cycle. It really does help me stay on track, help me visualize my goals more, and it reminds me and helps that like spark in my brain. Because I am so into manifesting, but it's easy, like if you don't keep that up it's easy to just slowly progressively kind of forget about it and forget how important it is and just kind of like transition your way back to your old ways of thinking so doing something like this like i've been reading just like 10 to 20 pages every day and it helps keep my mind on track and i honestly think when i finish this book i'm gonna go and start reading it again and just start reading like 10 to 20 pages every single day to keep my mind on track because it helps so much and there's so much useful information in this book and every time i read it like i just feel so good and it's that type of book where you can't read too much at once meaning like if i read this whole entire book in one sitting there would be way too much information for me to handle and process at once so that's why i like reading 10 to 20 pages at once like maybe like do a couple chapters depending how long the chapter is just kind of taking that information in letting it sink maybe journal about it and then the next day after that kind of sunk in read a little bit more you know because it is very information heavy and there's a lot of things that i'm learning from it it's too much all at once to so just keep consecutively reading for me at least so i'm just going to read one line um, that stuck out to me yesterday from reading the only thing that ever prevents you receiving something that you desire is that your habit of thought is different from your desire it's basically saying that like you just need to be like a vibrational match to what you desire and if you're not then it's not going to come to you i just read a chapter um on i actually think i'm on the chapter the different degrees of your emotional uh guidance system so basically what your emotional guidance system is is let's say you need to make a decision if saying yes to that decision makes you feel really happy and saying no to that decision makes you feel really angry and sad then that's your emotional guidance system guiding you that saying yes is the answer because it makes you happy if a thought makes you mad then that is not aligned with your true being and your true self if a thought if a thought makes you happy then that thought is aligned aligning 
and is aligned with your true self and your true being if that makes sense so that's kind of your emotional guidance system because it's your emotions guiding you like what is truly meant for you and what is not it has like a scale right here and it has 1 to 22 and it says a scale of your emotions should look something like this and it goes down number one is joy knowledge empowerment freedom love number two is passion then it goes down enthusiasm um, optimism hopefulness and then the bottom one is fear grief depression despair the second bottom one is insecurity guilt unworthiness jealousy hatred revenge anger and it said that if you're at the bottom of this scale so if you're feeling fear grief depression despair powerlessness you can't go from the bottom of being at that scale to number one you can't jump up that many levels just like that like you can't recover just like that it's near to impossible it basically says how to help yourself kind of get from the bottom to the top is not to jump up but to slowly work your way up so the next feeling up from fear and grief and just depression is insecurity guilt and unworthiness even if you have a thought that is an insecure thought a guilty thought and that provides you with some relief that is better than being at the bottom and feeling depressed despair powerlessness so if that even makes sense even though it's not necessarily good to have those other feelings that are above the last one it's still working your way up so that's how you kind of work your way up is if you feel relief in the next thought even though it's technically still not a good thought it's still work, working your way up so i don't know if that even made any sense but this book is just like i forgot how good this book is and i put it away for so long it's been locked up in my drawer for so long now and i just kind of happened upon it and i was thinking about it again and i'm like you know what because since i've been in a rut i was in a rut I was like, you know what? I gotta pick that book back up and start reading it. And I already feel 1,000 times better. Like I was just like truly so freaking happy today. And I just felt so good. And I swear, it's because this book, it feeds my mindset. When you have a plant, it's gonna die if you don't water it. It's gonna die if you don't give it sunlight. Kinda like your mindset. You need to feed your mindset. But I would 100% suggest this book. Take it day by day with it. It could be overwhelming at first, especially if you're new to the whole like idea of um, manifesting and all that. It could be really overwhelming. So my best advice is if you do buy this, just to really read it slow. Read it at your own pace, basically. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do some reading now and just kind of sit here and enjoy. some fruit salad i one thing that i just realized that i literally do not have in this house is bowls i have like eating bowls and then i have huge i have a stainless steel bowl that's like big and then i have this which is technically like a fruit bowl like i guess it doesn't have to be one but that's what i use it for but i'm going to be using it for this fruit salad but i'm missing just like cooking bowls just like you know how you can get like a pack of like small medium large just like regular bowls that you can like do like cooking in that's what i'm missing i never bought like a set of bowls and i realized this five months after moving in <laughs> which is fine but i definitely need to get those soon i guess i'll just get it whenever i'm out if i remember we'll get it eventually but anyways i'm gonna be making a fruit salad right now and i just have chicken defrosting that's gonna be for dinner i got from meridian meats it's grass fed and like organic and everything another thing that i realized that i haven't even done yet um is my spice cabinet it's not good like it's everything is shoved everywhere like i have this like cute pasta things here that aren't aren't even filled right now which is fine but i never i've never gotten like any spice containers and i just recently realized that that's what i'm missing and i kind of want to make this like bottom shelf here with like the oils on the side and then have a little spice rack here so let me know if you guys have any like recommendations from amazon or something cute like a cute spice rack i want to make it really cute like i said a million times but yeah i just don't know exactly what to get for that so i think i'm gonna look on amazon but let me know if you guys have any recommendations for that because i need to do that too i haven't done that yet which isn't like it's not like top priority like it's kind of things that will get done eventually but i want to do that soon oh okay one more thing because i just want to know if you guys have any recommendations for me so here as you guys can see behind me here this wall is filled with like boxes that I've gotten from PR or like sponsorships and it's just like I don't have room to necessarily put all these products away 
And this is like a really awkward nook here. So I want to put something here where I can store everything, like take everything out of the boxes and like just have like a drawer unit here. But I have no idea what to get because the door is kind of in the way here. So I can't have anything that goes in too far here. But I'm thinking something long and tall maybe up here so that it doesn't interfere with the door. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions because I have no idea. So anyways, here's Joel. He's This is him working away. I know you guys said you want to see more of him in the videos, but he's kind of shy. He's always working when I'm filming in the house. He's always in his little office here. And I never show him just because he's always... I'm always out doing something. Yeah, he's always busy. <laughs> he's always working and... We hang out before bed. Yeah, <laughs> basically. That's not true. You don't no, work on the weekends. That's true. Not, well... On Sunday. Yeah, he does. Okay. Just Saturday. I got Saturdays off. He's grinding right now. But, um, yeah, I just never film him because, like, we're both doing work during the day. Like, filming and editing is work for me. This is work for him in the office. So, yeah, and he's he gets a little camera shy. A little bit. But I'll try to incorporate him more in the videos whenever he's there. Whenever I'm there. You gotta talk more. So you're so, he's so quiet. He's not the quiet in person. He's all yapping away. But once <laughs> the camera turns on, he doesn't say anything. I don't want to say anything that could incriminate me. That won't, it won't, nothing will incriminate you. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished making the fruit salad. It turned out so yummy. I'm so excited to have it for dessert later. Um, I'm just gonna transfer it over to a container and then put it in the fridge and then I need to get editing, so. Uh, uh, 